This is a Newton lawnmower. This is an electric lawnmower. Not as plug-in, but battery. So this, this guy here was given to me by a friend that had it for a few years, I believe since 2008 or 2009. There's a model there, CE 6.3. And uh, here's the battery for it. It is a lead acid, 10 amp hour, 36 volt battery. And this battery um, still does hold a charge. You can see here, um, 36 volt, 10 amp hours. But um, the capacity is not what it used to be. So in this project, we're going to make some uh, lithium-ion battery pack, or a lithium-ion battery pack for this thing, and we can see uh, what happens. So there's something interesting I noticed. So I'm on the uh, Neutron, Newton, sorry, Newton lawnmower website. I'm looking at the specs here because I wanted to see what the motor, what kind of voltage the motor was pulling. And it says here motor, 36 volt, 50 amp permanent magnet electric motor. So that 50 amp number kind of scares me. I don't know what type of current it's going to be pulling from these things. I'm pretty sh I'm I'm certain that they're going to be able to provide, that these are going to be able to provide the... Um, the current, especially the LGs are rated at 10, 10 C, which is 10 amp uh, per battery. You know, me by overvolting it to 48 volts isn't gonna cause a problem or isn't gonna short it out. So I'm gonna go see if I can get the model of that, that battery, of that motor. Like maybe there's a, like a serial number on it or something. Okay, so it's probably a good thing I checked this because I was able to get the cover off. And now I can see that this motor here is a focus, is a Echo Star LEM10SZZ. And here, this is the more concerning part, is seeing this, I don't know what that is, if that's a, but it does say 36 volts, 80 amp. ES47T, 36 volt. Yeah, this might be something I'm, I might not want to overvolt. I have tested a 48 volt on here and it works, but I think over time I might burn out some of this stuff. Not sure if that's a good idea or not. I'm gonna look up this motor and I'm gonna look up this board and see what we can find out. So I looked up this Newton lawnmower uh, LEM01SEZZ electric motor and it's actually a 24 volt uh, direct current motor. So I don't know what that, I know what that means, but I don't know how that helps me in this project. I think I'm going to look at possibly uh, not going to 48 volts for long-term um, usability. I think I might drop my battery pack to maybe a 40 volt and see how that fares. So one of the other things I'm going to check here is the amount of current that's being pulled from this thing because I want to make sure it's not too much. So I just want to double check that. So I have my trusty DC current meter. So we're going to try that. This is the original lead acid battery. So now we're going to put this meter into DC. Let's get the reading. Overload. So it looks like it's stabilized at about 4 amps with no load on it. So it needs actually quite a bit of amperage to get started. Looks like between 40 and 50 amps, which is a lot. Looks like idle it's about 3 amps. If we figure that it's going to be about double the amperage when it's actually cutting grass. So just to recap, with no load on the motor, we're pulling about three amps, uh, no load. So I imagine when we're cutting grass, we're gonna hit six, seven, eight, even 10, even maybe up to 10 amps if you're going over uh, a spot where it's really heavy grass or 
they're stuffing the waste. Uh, my guess is we're gonna see higher, higher consumption than 10 on average when cutting the grass. So um, maybe 12 amps, something like that. So that battery there, uh, hang on, I haven't used it very often, but that battery there probably lasted less than an hour, probably maybe half an hour. So I think for the LiPo setup, I'm gonna need at least five cells because this thing needs almost 50 amps to get the motor started uh, spinning. All right, so typically I would uh, get some cells out of uh, some old laptop batteries, but I don't have any right now. But what I do have is this. This is uh, one of my electric bike batteries that basically the uh, battery management system died. A the company sent me a new one, so I don't really have anything to do with this. And a proprietary case in design, and it has a BMS that I really can't find a match for, nor can I figure out how to wire it up properly to something if I bought on eBay. I'm just going to salvage this. I'm going to remove the batteries from this case. This battery is for, is 48 volts, but it's only 9 amp hour. As you recall from our previous video, uh, that lawnmower battery is 10 amp hour, and I definitely don't want to go any less than that. I actually want to go a little bit above that. So let's open this thing up and see what type of batteries are in here, manufacturer-wise, and also how we're going to arrange them and uh, what type of capacity they have. So there's the battery management system. So this this will connect to different parts. Uh, this will control the charging. This will control. This will have a thermistor, uh, and this goes actually talks to a computer that sits on the dash of the bike. So that's another reason why I can't really use it. So here are the cells. Looks like they're in their own sort of holders, like uh, plastic holders. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it says uh, 53 volts. So this thing is fully charged. Um, now there's a couple of screws here for the BMS. We're not going to need that. So now that we have all the packs broken up, we're going to start um, taking off these plastic covers here, or protectors, and then we have to start separating that each cell. So let's get started doing some of that. Okay, so we got some of these packs spot welded. I went with 40 volts. There's five in parallel, and there's gonna be 10 in series. So now, the next step is basically uh, putting these in series, spot welding those. All right, so we have a couple of battery packs finished off here. I went with 40 volts. So these are 20 volt packs each and they are in series and they have the main connector, main power connectors coming out and then I also have balance leads for the cells. Now this cell is entirely those LG, sorry, this pack is entirely the LG cells. This pack is a mix between the LG on this side and Samsung on this side. And just, uh, I noticed charging this pack, I don't know if there's a bad cell in here, this, this pack here, this one row, doesn't seem to charge as well as the others. So I'm just gonna give it a test run in the mower. I'm gonna get the uh, current being pulled uh, just to see what's, what's up and then we'll go from there. So let's, uh, let's hook these up. I'm gonna wrap these now so they, there's no uh, danger there. So I'll show you the wrapped uh, versions. All right, and here are the packs just wrapped for a little protection. We're gonna have to use this series connector this series connector will connect the packs to connect two 20 volts into 40. And if we take Mr. Multimeter, yeah, we got 40.2 volts coming out of there. How am I going to connect them to the actual mower tabs for now? I'm going to use these. Uh, and the end will be this. 